Blender is not only an excellent animation software, it also comes with a powerful video editor, built in. Here you can import your existing video or image sequence, sound or logo files, and combine them into a professional level output. Let us add an image sequence for this tutorial. If you want to know more about image sequence in Blender, you can check my foundation level tutorial on video sequence editor. The link is in the video description. Let us now go and play this image sequence first. We can see a planet and its moon in this animation clip. Let us now add a sound effect to it. So, please go to the start of the animation, then go to the add menu and click on sound. Browse to the location where you have kept your sound file and add it to our composition. If you now play the animation, you can hear the music. Cool. And for this sound strip, you can increase or decrease the volume or the pitch from here and you can also keyframe them and animate. Let us now add some effects to this sound strip. So go to the add menu and under fade, add one, fade in effect. Now if you play the animation again, you can hear the fade in effect added at the start of the sound strip. You can also verify that Blender has added one keyframe at frame number one and also at frame number 25. So the fade in effect will happen between frame 1 to 25. And if you want to change the duration of this effect, you can change the positions of these keyframes. Now, instead of adding just a single fade in effect, you can also add the fade in and fade out effects together. So Blender will add a fade in at the start and a fade out at the end of the sound strip. Similarly, for the image sequence as well, you can add the same fade in and fade out. But the length of this image sequence is shorter than that of the sound strip. One easy solution is to simply cut the end part of this sound, but you can also move this fade out effect to match with the position of the fade out of the image sequence or your video. If you navigate through the keyframes, you will see that the video is ending at frame number 301. Let us just expand this timeline editor a little bit. Select the sound strip. If you zoom out sufficiently, here in the timeline editor, you can see the two keyframes that Blender has added at the end of the strip. We want to move them to this location, which is our frame number 301. So, click anywhere to deselect all the keyframes, then select these two together, and drag your mouse to move them to the specific position, frame number 301. Perfect. We can now minimize this editor. You can verify that the last keyframe is moved to frame 301. So the fade out effect will now happen at the same time for the audio and the video. Let us now see how to add your logo here on another channel. First, go to the start of the animation. Then go to the add menu and click on this image option. Browse to the location where you have your logo image file and add it. Blender has added it here. We need to resize this. So go to this panel and expand the section called transform. You can change the scaling factor here to say 0.1 for both X and Y dimensions. Also, you may like to place the logo at this corner of the scene. So, you can mention the exact pixel values here, say 870 for X and maybe 450 for Y location. You can see where the logo moved and further adjust the location values. Now, Blender has added this strip for a short duration. We need to extend its length up to here. So scroll down in this properties panel and expand the section called time. You can find the start frame, the duration, and the end frame number here. In the duration, you can enter the same value for the video strip, which is this, 300. Let us enter 300 here, and it will extend up to our desired length. We are almost done. Now, you may not like to keep a very bright logo, so you can make it half transparent by reducing its opacity value. You can see the logo has blended perfectly with our video or the image sequence. And lastly, you may want to add the fading effect also for this logo. So select the fade in fade out option as before. Now our clip is ready to play. Let us verify it. Cool. We will now generate the output. So go to the output tab here. We have to ensure correct values for some of the fields here. First we have this start and end frame numbers. We know that our video strips ends at frame 301, so enter that value here. Then, in the frame rate, select the same value that you used while creating your image sequence files. 
We will go with 30, but for your case, it may be some other value as well. Then scroll down, and you need to select the location where the output file will be saved. Let us save it on desktop. Then in the file format, please select this video or FFMPEG option. Expand the encoding section. We need an encoder for the video, and Blender has by default selected H.264, which is good. You can change the output quality, but this is optional. And most importantly, in this audio section, the default codec is set as, no audio. So if you generate the output now, it won't have any audio. Although you have added the audio file. You must change this to some valid codec, you can simply go with MP3 option. That's all we need to change before we generate the output. Let us now start the rendering process for our video clip. It will take some time. Once complete, we can close these windows. Our output file is here, let us play and verify it. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.